My name is Gautam Kumar. I'm a chief nutritionist at Idea Clinics. Let's discuss about the uh, most available breakfast options for diabetes for people who are suffering from diabetes from long time. Uh, most of the people are so confused on to looking on to uh, YouTube videos or uh, searching in Google and all. So I, I mostly advise them uh, to uh, follow some tips like this, which I'm going to tell you now. Uh, first of all, uh, if at all is a vegetarian or they are a vegetarian, uh, it is always advisable to take idlis, steamed food. That is more, um, for an example, I can say idlis, steamed dosas, uh, which are made up of dals and rice. Uh, for people uh, who, are ab who are not able to uh, manage their diabetes very effectively, for them, I suggest them to go for uh, special idlis, like idlis made up of uh, moong dal. Instead of urad dal, they can also, uh, plain urad dal, they can also add some moong dal into it and then prepare it accordingly so that their diabetes uh, management is uh, properly uh, maintained. Next is uh, having dosas made up of green lentils. So we say pesaratu in Telugu. Uh, if at all pesaratu is used in breakfast, it is a good source of protein. And if at all it is taken with uh, uh, a palish, uh, peanut chutney or sambar or any dal or curry that is available at that moment, sambar, it is very much beneficial for people who are struggling to maintain the diabetes, the sugar levels. Uh, second, uh, for people who are no, uh, non vegetarians who prefer non vegetarian and all, uh, I can suggest them to have a vegetable stuffed omelette, uh, vegetable of omelette, I can say, uh, mixed vegetable omelette, uh, which is a pack, uh, so energy packed and uh, nutrient rich source of uh, all the nutrients, which helps in affecting, which helps in managing the diabetes so effectively. Uh, next one is they can go for ragi malt uh, if they can use ragi uh, powder uh, in hot water they can mix it in hot water and then put some uh, after get after cooling it down to room temperature they can put some curds in it yogurts or curds in it uh, one to two teaspoons or two one to one tablespoon of uh, uh, curds or yogurts in it mix it uh, put little bit of salt in it and then have it as a breakfast so this gives a lot of uh, energy, uh, instant energy to them and at the same time as it has lower GI, uh, it, it doesn't spike sugar levels as even though it has a lot of carbs or carbohydrates in it as they are complex carbohydrates. So many of people have wrong notions that uh, having ragi java might uh, increase their spi spike uh, or spike increase their sugar levels. So it is always advisable them not to believe that it's a, it's a myth. So they can go for ragi java at least two to three times in a week. It is always better to change our breakfast every now and then, not to keep a constant breakfast, like say uh, to have idli only on a daily basis. Many people think that having idli on a daily basis will uh, take care of their sugar levels. No, uh, they should include variety of uh, protein diets, variety of uh, carbohydrates, complex carbohydrates, variety of simple carbohydrates which have lower GI. So they have to always look for foods which has lower GI. Uh, they have to avoid all the foods which are higher GI foods. So it is always best to go for lower GI breakfast ideas. In that next topic is, if we can say uh, bajra. So any any upma that is made of bajra, bajra or foxtail millet or uh, uh, a kodu millet, that should be fine for them as it has lot of lot of complex carbohydrates all the nutrients enriched and calcium and they are gluten free and uh, which people who are gluten uh, intolerant uh, they can also uh, go for using millets in the breakfast and make sure that it is uh, used at least three to four times in the breakfast or dinner uh, next one is uh, they can go for uh, uh, different varieties of uh, upmas in, in that which i can say oats upma uh, they can go for uh, uh, preparing oats upma and put lot of vegetables in it. Let's say um, the portion of vegetables compared to upma put together should be very high. So let's say put green peas, carrots, cauliflower, broccoli, whichever is palatable to them. They can use it in their recipe and make sure that they are prepare upma in such a way uh, that they are not consuming the upma on its own, but uh, something is available to you know uh, for munching in it let's say some dal or some curry or some uh, sambar but make sure that oats upma or any upma that is prepared at home it is not taken alone on its on uh, alone its uh, uh, so that 
only carbohydrates are uh, taken care of apart from getting into lot of nutrients like uh, proteins and fibers and uh, uh, nutrients so make sure oats upma or any other upma is always taken with some other thing apart from chutneys which gives a whole sum of nutrients to the body and uh, there are many other options to have in breakfast like uh, a plain omelet white omelet instead of having a vegetable omelet they can also go for plain omelet and uh, make sure that they consume some buttermilk at the end of their breakfast uh, they can also consume milk and eggs they can also uh, low, low low mostly low fat dairy products uh, uh, or they can also go for high fat dairy products if they have uh, if, if no if they are losing their if they think that they are losing their weight or they are losing their weight in the nearly like 3 to 4 kilos in a week mostly uh, people who are high uh, who are having high sugar levels uh, whose sugar levels are not well maintained whose diabetes is not properly properly maintained they tend to lose weight more as they lose lot of sugars through urination so for them it is always beneficial to use uh, high fat dairy products to make sure that uh, they get they get proper fat into into their body and they also get uh, proper proteins for their body and uh, through which their uh, weight is managed properly and make sure that uh, their weight is not reduced on on a very rapid basis